Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to create this trendy looking animation. So before I begin, if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this main width and height will be 19 only by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds or 15 whatever you want let's go with 10 just click on ok now we are going to add our text so go to text tool and you can just click anywhere you want and you can start typing your text for this example I'm going to type typography and now I'm going to change its font so you can use whatever font you want I'm going to use this Gibson bold font and let's pick some black color something like this now let's select this and I'm going to quickly scale this up just like this let's align this in the center if you're not able to see this align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now hold down the control key and you can double click on this icon to make the anchor point in the center let's create a background so you can right click go to new solid and let's make this little bit of off white color just like this now click on ok you can place the background probably below this now we have our text now if you want you can pre-compose this layer so that you can change the text later on but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm not going to do that i'm going to directly duplicate this so Let's zoom out a little bit and let's probably scale this up. Now you can press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Then you can hold down the shift key then press arrow key four times. Again hold on the shift key and let's press this four times. Just keep on doing this just like this. Now let's duplicate this one more time and let's place it below. Now I'm going to quickly select all of these and I'm going to change their color. So let's go with the yellow. Now you can select all of them, then press Ctrl D to duplicate them and then select one of the text layers, just move it above and now quickly change the color and let's make this aqua. Now you can select them and just place them somewhere around here. Again, you can duplicate them, then let's move it at the top and again change the color to something like this now let's place this over here just like this so now we have our text and now let's add a bulge in the middle of this for that i'm going to add a adjustment layer so you can just simply right click new and then select adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called bulge just simply select the effect you can drop it onto this adjustment layer and after that we are going to increase the radius so let's set this to something like 600 and this one to 600 as well so right away you can see that we have this really nice bulge now we are going to increase the radius so let's set this to something like 400 yeah i think this is looking good so once you're happy with this, you can select all of these text layers and then press Ctrl D one last time and let's move them at the top. And for this one, I'm going to change the color of all of them. Let's set this to orange. Now you can select all of these layers, including the adjustment layer. I'm not going to select these ones. And after that, you can right click pre-compose and let's call this text just click on ok now let's go inside the text comp and i'm going to quickly animate the text so let's select all of these text layers and let's move them somewhere around here then you can press p for position let's add a keyframe for all of these layers then move the timeline indicator to something like this and you can just simply move the text just like that so now if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation 
and now you can go back to the composition and on this one we are going to apply another effect so let's select the text comp and let's search for cc sphere just simply drag and drop onto this comp and let's increase its radius just like this now we are going to copy this solid as well so select this layer press ctrl c to copy it and let's go to the text comp and press ctrl v to paste it now let's place it below all of these layers just like this so if i go back here you can see that we have the sphere and now let's play around with some of the settings so you can play around with the lighting if you want you can increase its intensity you can change its direction now it's completely up to you and let's go with something like 90 and let's move it something like this so yeah i think this is looking good you can also play around with the shading and i think this is looking fine so we're going to stick with this so once you're happy with this now we are going to animate our text as well so for that i'm going to select all the text layers and then you can move them to somewhere around here then you can press p for position let's add a keyframe and let's move it to the very end and after that you can just simply move them like this so here you can see we have this kind of look again we are going to add another effect so before that let's create a new adjustment layer let's place it below the text comp and on this one we are going to apply a effect called optics compensation just search for it and you can select it and drag it and drag it onto this adjustment layer now for this one we are going to enable the reverse lens distortion and i'm going to increase its value to something like this so you can probably select all of these and just move it a little bit to the other side so now you can see that we have this kind of animation which is looking good now in order to enhance this more you can also apply drop shadow effect onto this sphere and let's increase the value and you can probably increase the softness uh, so uh, yeah i think this is looking good so this is before and after you can see that it makes a huge difference so there you go now you have created your own animation now the only downside is that if you want to change the text then you have to do it for all the layers but again like i said if you want you can create a pre-comp of this text and then use the pre-comp as a duplicate layer instead of using the text but just for this tutorial i use this text layers so this is how you can create these type of trendy looking animations so i hope you learned something from this video and the project file for this tutorial will be available on patreon so if you want you can join my patreon page and get access to the tutorial files plus all the exclusive templates that are available only on patreon also if you want to learn more things like this then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one